guys, Team Hard Life Captain Albert are teaching here. All right, so last videos, we've been working on the lid, and man, talk about some pain. Trying to use the reciprocating saw just beat my hands up big time. They were pretty much sore all weekend kind of deal, but you know, like I said, it's one of the things that we encounter when we're trying to make a product that isn't readily available and ain't through the roof. Yes, we can order it online and have it delivered straight to us, but you're looking at $3 a pound. That would send our prices insanely high and we would never make a sale. So, with doing what we do, we have to find the best way to get it at a good quality so that way it doesn't prolong us anymore in cleaning it out. So a lot of y'all were suggesting a bandsaw. I had originally had a handheld one and I was using it and it was it was okay. It was cutting through, but very slowly. After dealing with the reciprocating saw and getting my hands beat up, I think it's going to be the safest way for it to be accomplished. And also, too, it won't kick out as much metal chunks out everywhere. So that way I don't have that much of a cleanup because it'll dump it all in that one little section. So that's what I'm going to work on today. And also, too, got an update on the motors for our sail lines. They're in. They are in. But... We did some major improvements with what we got in. Yes, they will actually come with a handheld. Um, oh, can't, can't be giving you all the information this early in the game. Y'all gonna have to watch the video. My bad. All right, so back to work outside again. These were the other ones that I cut with the super saw. Just this brick alone. Just give y'all an idea of what lead can weigh if y'all haven't really dealt with it. But that one little brick right there is 31 and a quarter pounds. These are ounces right here. So, yeah. And those those are the other bricks I cut last week. So, yeah. That's, that's a lot of lead.
Well, that only took about 10 minutes to do, so on to the next dairy. Let's see what else we can do. I know there's definitely bigger blades with more teeth on it, or not more teeth, but less teeth, bigger gaps, and that should be able to cut through this a lot easier, because when it's this small, I mean, it, it's, it's almost melting it back on itself, and that's what makes it real difficult to use the bandsaw. So, I'm going to go looking around and see if I can find some teeth with bigger grit and uh, see what happens.